Think back to when you were a child. Maybe you had some grand adventures that you can recall. Perhaps you used to dress up in costumes and reenact a scene that you saw on television or take on a new personality. Or maybe you climbed into trees just to see how high you could go. Or maybe as one client just recalled to me on a phone call, you created your own roller coaster by sliding down your stairs in your laundry basket. Grand adventures indeed. It's those grand adventures that cause us to learn a little bit about ourselves and what we're made of. It caused us to help and understand and the world around us. They often connected us to others in our own sense of adventure, drawing in our claymates or our friends or our siblings, or maybe even the gentle correction of our parents. They gave us a sense of freedom and satisfaction, as if you were using that creative part of your brain to bring something into the world that only you uniquely could see. However, at some point in our journey, we stop using that part of our brain. We stop seeking adventure. Too much risk might jeopardize our position, our health, or our finances. I'm currently busy at work compiling a, a book. The book's title is The Adventure Within, Why Successful Professionals Can Still Feel Stuck and How to Purposely Rekindle Your Craving for Adventure. Why? Because playing not to lose will not move our world forward. When we feel stuck, we react to the world around us. We do not change systems or structures before us, and the problems of society only begin to snowball into tragedies. Yet change is possible if we start one leader at a time.